I love it. I, I don't know how you define friend. You know, it's more than Facebook to me. It's, uh, it's about people that listen to you and share, and they, they care about you, and they support you. And the gentleman I'm about to introduce has been a friend of Cinequest for a decade, and now it's my honor to introduce him as the mayor of San Jose, Sam Licardo. Because here at Cinequest, of the 129 world and national premiere films, half of them were produced by women. And for this year's event, we have artists coming from 50 countries to contribute to this incredible, eclectic, and wonderful offering that we present to audiences here at CineQuest. So we believe in diversity. We happen to be honoring a trailblazer for women, a trailblazer for Latinos, a trailblazer for generations of performing artists. So in addition to all that, in addition to the EGOT, the, tonight, Rita Moreno will earn the MEGOT, the Maverick, the Emmy, the Grammy, the Oscar, and the Tony. Never know how much I love you. Never know how much I care. When you put your arms around me, I get the fever that's so hard to bear. You give me fever. I was dancing from the time I could walk in Puerto Rico. I've never done yeah. anything else but perform my whole yeah. life. I have yeah. never been a waitress. I have never been a secretary, a receptionist. I have never done anything, which of course nowadays is not possible. But in my time, that's what I did. Yeah. And I, I love it. I still love it. I love my craft. And I feel uh, so privileged to, at the age of 84, still be doing it. It's amazing. It's so amazing. <laughs> So many of us live with fear of failure or success or many things. I'm wondering how you've managed your fear in your life in such a way to allow you to achieve so much. Fear really is about failure, I think, in every mm. respect. And uh, when I came to this country, I was made to feel that I didn't have much value. Uh, even as a very little girl, I remember being called names like Spick mm. and... Uh, Wop and gold tooth and all the words you hear in West Side Story, garlic mouth. And if you're young enough, you're still a very tender little person. Mm. And you tend to believe what people tell you. And if people tell you that you don't have worth, mm. you believe it. And I had a very, very hard time for many, many, many years. Mm. Uh, those are the kind of things I didn't tell my mama. So I yeah. kept it to myself. But those things have a cost. You know, that kind of secrecy mm. has a cost. Yes. And, you know, yeah. I ended up in, in uh, psychotherapy for a bunch of years, but mm. it's actually one of the most constructive things I ever did for myself. Mm. But... Uh, mm. But fear, uh, anxiety was so much a part of my life. Mm. Uh, I can't begin to tell you how really severe it was, how I felt ugly, mm. how um, I felt I was too dark, mm. my hair was too curly. I just felt such an outsider for mm. way, way, way too many years. Yeah. So uh, I certainly empathize with people who have those kind of problems now. You started your career in the era of the infamous casting couch when there was a very predatory oh. approach to young women entering the performing arts. Um, yeah. We've seen improvements in, in how women are treated, but I'm interested to know from your experience how the industry's changed over your career and also what further advances perhaps you'd like to see in that regard. Well, with respect to the casting couch, I, I don't... I don't even know if that really, really exists anymore. I don't know. Anymore? I mean, oh, okay. not at my age. No one's going to be, you know, <laughs> killing themselves to get me in the sack. Well, there are a couple. <laughs> Do I see any comers? That's a woman. Woo! <laughs> and I remember one in particular, Buddy Adler, who ran um, 20th Century Fox. Mm. 
And he kept calling me and calling me and calling me. And finally, I remember after two months of calling, he finally left a message which was, okay, I give up. <laughs> but it was yeah. scary because you could lose your job. Yes, yeah. You know, you, they could just say, well, the hell with her. Yeah. You know, there's plenty others who can show their gratitude. Right, yeah. And uh, it was very, very frightening. Yes, yeah, very frightening. As evidenced by your receiving, you haven't the Oscar, the Emmy, the Tony, the Grammy, your careers encompass singing and dancing and acting. Does it feel like they all come from within the same creative place within you? Or does each of those reflect a different part no, of I you? No, I think they really all come from exactly the same place. And it's my favorite place of mine. Mm. I love to go there. And the, I think the reason it's marvelous for me is that mm. I thought, wow, I can do this. I can move people. That is, that's uh, irreplaceable. Mm. I love it. And if any actor ever tells you that they hate all that stuff, that attention and that, that affection from an audience, they're full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> do you feel you've come to a place now where you really know who you are? For you? I do. Yes. I do. And uh, I think I'm swell. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, boy, you have no idea how long it took to be able to say that without feeling yeah. embarrassed. Mm. And, and uh, I, I do believe, really, that therapy helped me enormously. Mm. And, uh, but he could, as I said to him when I finally left, left therapy, I said to my doctor, my psychoanalyst, I said, you couldn't have done it without me. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, you're yeah. absolutely right. But it, it took me longer than that, you know. Mm. Leaving therapy doesn't mean that I felt I was uh, perfect at that point. I think I'm as perfect as I'm ever going to be. You know, that's it. This is, this is it. Yeah. This is it with all my, with my temper and whatever else. This is who I am. Yeah. And I accept that person. And I accept her with gratitude. I'm so happy to just be here. I tried to kill myself once. Mm. You know, I tried, I took pills. Yes. So I'm just, uh, when I say I appreciate every moment, I appreciate every moment mm. that I'm still here. Mm. 